Hello my Pokemaniacs and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to finish making it to the Cape to Bill's house. I'm a cool guy. I've got a girlfriend. <laughs> Just because you got a girlfriend doesn't make you cool. Send out a Rattata. I think I kind of screwed that up. I went up too high when I uh, went to battle him, so I couldn't get the item that's up there. Ooh, a Hyper Fang. Goodness, been an ant. Boom. Oh my goodness, Bugsy, why are you missing so much with Supersonic? I forgot that poison moves were super effective against poison types. Well, actually, I think it's bug types. Switch Chewy back in here. Wow, it's able to get wrap off. Weird. Perhaps one of those moves in the olden games that you uh, love to use it. But hated to have it used on you. Oh, paralyzed, great. Last of my potions here. Bugs is gonna go back to the bottom of the list. All level 17s now. What has he got? I knew I had to fight you. Probably another Eakins, the Rattata. Called it. Burn him. Just burn him, Blaze. Come on. Yeah, I took my team to heal at the Pokemon Center before doing this next video. I should have bought some more potions when I was down there too. Oh, level 15, alright. Don't need Leer. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and switch to Asparagus. Just want to save him because I'm pretty sure the last trainer has a couple of grass types. But 
figures. Oh, come on. Wow. Missed twice in a row and then hit twice in a row. He knew he'd lose too. That's wonderful. There's the last one. My friend is a cute Pokemon. I am so jealous. I'm not. I'm eventually gonna search for an Abra up here. Because I believe there should be Abras up here. Sand attack. Ooh, well played. Blaze is gone now. Sorry, Blaze. Mankin. Just trying to karate chop this thing. It's not gonna do much damage either way. With electric type moves anyway. Blaze kind of fainted, but uh, we're going to go ahead and continue on here. And then I'll worry about looking at what Pokemon are in this area. Pikachu looks very confused. Hi, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here? When I'm in the teleporter, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. Poor Pikachu. It's gonna get worse. <laughs> Yeehaw! Thanks, bud. I owe you one. So did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. I've got to thank you. Oh, here. Maybe this will do. Yes, the SS ticket. That cruise ship SSN is in Vermilion City. Its passengers are all trainers. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dues. Why don't you go instead of me? It's okay, Pikachu. We all get confused sometimes. Alright. Got to add in 
Charmander here. There we go. But I also forgot to take out Butterfree, so. <laughs> Lapras for ice and water type. Um, the Venonat at Mankey will be here for a little while. But one of them is going to have to be traded out for Abra, because I like to have me an Abra to Alakazam. But then again, I don't necessarily need them. So, the best idea now is to figure out, is Abra even in this area? I see Venonat, I see Bellsprout, Oddish. Abra's down below towards the daycare. That's where we can find them. Okay. <clears throat> Pokedex here. Already got a Pidgey. Got a Rattata. Uh, there's chances to see Pidgeotto. We'll have a Bell Sprout, I believe. Or an Oddish. I have to come back up here after we heal to see if we can't catch those two. Because I'm trying. The reason why I'm trying to catch so many Pokemon is not just to complete the Pokedex, but uh, get enough Pokemon in the Pokedex so that I can actually get the items from the A's, like the experience share that comes in handy. Actually, I believe it's experience share all. See if we can't find what level is my uh, blaze is 15. I should be able to run away from most Pokemon now. Let's see if we can't find a Bell Sprout and an Oddish before moving towards Vermilion City. I'm just gonna stay at the edge of the grass here. Should be there's not a sh question is can you survive an ember? I don't think so. If I get a critical hit, it's all over, though. I 
Uh, is it not a prayer? Oh no, critical hit, it's over. Darn it. Come back, Oddish. Oh, there's a bell sprout. We'll try the ember. I can't survive. Man, what are the chances of that happening? He's going to evolve now. <laughs> There we go. Now it's Charmillion. Now Ember will definitely hurt. Okay, chance at redemption here. Just use Scratch. No criticals. Thank you. Pokeball. Got an Oddish. Wheat Pokemon. Bell sprout. Nope. Okay. Well, we'll just uh, use an ember. Mm, still survive an ember. Just the bell sprout, then we can go for the abra down there. There's the bell sprout. Level 14, alright, let's try the ember. I'm pretty sure it can survive. Unless we get a crit. Crap. I hate that move! Only when it's used against me. Oh boy. Got them both. All right, now we can move on. the Oddish in the PC.
There we go. Oh, I forgot to put the audition in the PC. Kinda hurry. Oh. It's right now at the time I'm making this video that had some uh, spoilers for the newest generation, Generation 8 of Pokemon, which is Pokemon Sword and Shield. And the legendaries, if I may say, look really amazing. Basically two wolves made of steel, so I'm thinking they're steel types, since sword and shield, I mean, makes sense. And my favorite, um, bug type Pokemon that is steel type is Scizor, so it's actually my mascot. Terrible D, even our police force has trouble with the rockets. Uh, Dirty rockets. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard, huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? No. <laughs> Why would I believe you wearing Team Rocket outfit? Oh, he's going to have two level 17s. Mm. And they both. Oh no, Karate Chop. Don't like the Karate Chop being used against me because I know the critical hits are coming. Ooh, that was luck. Oh, come on. Come on, we can outspeed him. Yes. Yes. Finally. Chewie's the only answer I have for a drowsy. <laughs> he puts him to sleep. No! That is not cool. Pounded on my Pikachu. -y. Goodness. I don't have an awakening or anything. Shoot, I might have to let you just go down. Sorry, Chewie. It's the only way I could get a decent head start here. Oh, that's super effective. Critical hit. Oh my goodness. Paralyzed did not help at all. I'd be lucky if I can survive long enough to take him out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's two down for one. Drowsy is really strong.
keep moving, bye. TM28 dig. Oh boy. I'm glad you're not mad at me. Blaze are the same level, so Chewie's going first. Then Maneki. Asparagus. I think we'll put you last, because Charizard is one of my favorite ones anyway. Alright. Let's see if we can't find the Abra before ending this episode. Then our team will be almost fully complete. And the last thing to add to it would be Lapras, which we'll use Squirtle till we get that far. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick save. Right here. And then we'll search for the Abra. Now, the reason why I wanted to leave with Pikachu is I think the only way to catch an Abra is to paralyze it with Thunder Wave and then throw a Pokeball. Just throwing a Pokeball doesn't always work, and I'd rather not waste Pokeballs. Level 16. Pidgeys. There we go. Level seven Abra. It took quite a while to level him up. Oh, it's still able to use teleport, so though that's not a good idea. Gosh, dang it, CG. Some great tamer you turned out to be. I gotta try to find this dude again. I got a great ball, I'll just go ahead and try the great ball, I think. Find another one again. I mean, it's like a five percent chance of running into one. No, fifteen percent chance, I think. Pretty sure. Oh, Jigglypuff. Level 3 Jigglypuff? Don't I already have a Jigglypuff? I don't even know. I'm gonna be kicking myself if I go to my Pokedex and find out I don't have a Jigglypuff. Got a Clefairy. I didn't have a Jigglypuff. Dang it. There's an Abra. Alright, so now we gotta try for the Abra and the Jigglypuff. Let's 
Throw the great ball. Come on. No. Oh, come on. Sometimes you just gotta hate your life. It's like the most terrible Pokemon to try to catch. But he's very, very strong when he gets fully evolved into an Alakazam. Second only to Mewtwo. Try... Find this Jigglypuff or... Abra again. Hmm. If I run into the Jigglypuff, I'm just gonna have to paralyze it and then uh, throw a Pokeball because it's gonna be way too low level. That's why I like the second generation, we get False Swipe introduced. Pidgeotto. Yeah, I probably should have bought some potions before I left there. Got me a Pidgeotto. I'm going to Pokedex. Yeah, I'm pretty much over the quota on this video. Sorry if this is boring, you guys. Just this was part of the game back in the days. Just. Search until you found the Pokemon you were looking for. Running through the grass. Still have to do that now, but Sword and Shield, they're gonna have it to where they go with, uh, like, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Where the Pokemon are actually out in the open where you can see them. There'll be some that you can't see, they'll just be an explanation point or something, but. They're going to go into further details on that, I'm sure, before the game's release. There's our Abra. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to have to save here and when we come back, I'll show you guys that I've got it. There's really no point in uh, just recording the whole part where I'm trying to find him. So 
So I think after this encounter, we're going to save and then... Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. Uh, I will show you the Pokemon that I was able to catch while not recording. And we'll see you around next time.